Beautiful, sunny Charleston, South Carolina. 69 degrees. What is going on in your guys' world? We thought we had a blue Silverado purchased. Ended up uh, never hearing back from the seller. He responded twice and never after that. So I think he probably wanted to keep the truck or he didn't have another truck to drive. We had a one o'clock appointment, got here at 12.30, at 12.20, and they said there's four trucks ahead of us, so I think we're gonna get out of here anytime soon. We're still waiting on these two guys, too. Oh yeah, what's going on in your guys' world? A little Coca-Cola down here in uh, Charleston. Tyler, what's going on? Uh, What's good? What's good? Cool shade. Is it still buffering or is it okay? I kind of got away from my truck. Arizona, what's up, Trail? What's up, Jim? Is it buffering at all or is it okay? Can you guys hear me? All clear? Because I was sitting in my trailer, so let's see if I sit in my trailer if it, if it stays clear. Let me know. Edmonton, Canada, what's up, little man? Jim, what's going on, Jersey? Our uh, Powerade, or not Powerade. It's still pretty clear. Our uh, body armor is doing good. Let's jump back up here, see if it stays clear. Hoi! Oh, there we go. Still good? All right, we're good. There you go. But yeah, anybody, I know some of you guys live in Texas, like Dallas area. Um, this truck's a little further than the last one, so it's not a day's drive. Tourette, what's going on, man? Sorry about the truck man. Been down since last Thursday waiting for a freight line to replace my leaking rear. Dang, that's for a radiator, man? It sucks. They must not be able to get the park. Or, well, if they're doing it, you must be at the bottom of the list of people in front of you. That sucks, man. I'm praying for you, buddy. Sounds and looks good. Thanks a lot, Papa. All good. All right. But yeah, so it's the place that this truck is at that I bought. I already paid for it. <laughs> it's, uh, he was asking, I got him down about 2000 from what he was asking, so. He said, you got cash? Bring it. And I said, I have to, I told him like, hey man, I uh, have people on YouTube. They might be, uh, what's going on, Gary? T-Bone, what's going on? So it's northeast of Dallas a little bit in a, I think it's called Levon or Devon, Tavon. I forget the name. There's a lake right next to it with the same name as the city, but it's 75166. 75166. And if any of you guys have a friend who has a car hauler that's coming through the middle of the U.S. a lot, or um, I'd like to get it by this weekend, or if you want to drive it out to me, I'll fly you home, buy you dinner when you come out here. It's uh, 980 miles from that zip code to my house. So that's what I'm, I'm looking for. Anybody that can move it. Orlando, what's up, Patrick? Uh, or if you have a car haul of your own or a, a fifth wheel, trailer it out here. Uh, it's not going to go on like a U-Haul trailer with pulling it with your truck because it's too too slammed. It would rip off the roll pan in the back. But uh, it'll, it'll drive. It brand new tires on it. You can make it out here. Outside of Steve, Stevensville, Texas, about two hours. There you go, Tyler. Uh, I mean, two, seven, six, seven, five, one, six, six. Meet, what's going on? What's up, Wyatt? And Patrick, how you doing, man? But yeah, that's what uh, came on live today. I thought we had that blue one locked in, and I only paid $2,500 more for this truck than I was going to pay for that blue one, so... It's uh, pretty amazing, and it's a five-speed. That's the reason I, I pulled the trigger. It had a little bit more than what I wanted on it. Um, I don't want it to be slammed that bad. I might go back to stock, not stock suspension, but like a sport suspension. Um, I'll see how good the bags are, what kind of, they would see notch the frame and all that. Burnsville, North Carolina, what's going on? So um, I don't know about all that, but we'll see. But it's got way too much money put into it to not spend what I spent on it. So I said, let's do it. I want a, a little truck. Uh, the bed is still useful for doing what I need to do with it, just taking bigger pieces of stuff here and there, but it does have those huge tubs in it for uh, laying frames. So it's a nice truck. It's definitely worth the money. We got it for under $10,000. So six hours away. Yeah, I mean, if anybody that lives right there, I'm just asking if you want to take a two-day trip uh, 900 miles from Dallas to South Carolina, I'll pay for your flight home. Of course, I'll pay for all your fuel, all your meals, and, and uh, get you dinner when you come out here if you're, if you're not busy this weekend. <laughs> That's that's what I'm seeing. What's going on? But it's a nice truck. I posted it on um, the Facebook page, just Truck and Family. I posted a little picture of it. Kind of went through the photos of the listing, 
and then uh, it'll be in today's video, like a little, little picture of it, but uh, pretty cool. And four states today, very cold day in Edmonton, negative 23. Ooh, aloha, uh, Paris. Uh, four states emailed me and said I had a package coming today, but what came is not a bumper. It's not, it's a small rectangle, so maybe it's the brackets for the bumper, because we have all the lights, we have the sending units. I don't know if they sent something twice, but I was expecting it to be the bumper. And T-Dub sent me a video of it, and I was like, eh, it's not a bumper. It's, that, the bumper would be a good eight feet wide. <laughs> so, I don't know what that was. Jersey, what's up, Frank? Yeah, I got these from, like, a gas station up by uh, Dollywood. Thanks a lot. Yeah, cool shade. He's coming on Sunday at 2 o'clock. Pick up the truck. So, that's why I was like, okay, well, he's taking this truck. I'm going to uh, uh, offer him cash to keep the truck. I offered him about 2000 less than what I just bought this truck for. So pretty good deal. And the interior's all done in this new truck. It's all custom. Pretty cool looking truck. I like it. So I'm gonna, of course, it's got a V6 in it. I will be dropping a, probably a 6.0 one, I think. And uh, eventually, but I'll wait. I'll just drive it around right now. Can find a bed. I'm sorry, uh, Luis. From Chicago, what's up, David? Hit me up by email. May know someone. Email is my channel name at Gmail. All right. Uh, just T-Bone. Trucking with T-Bone at Gmail. All right, man. I'm in Ohio. Send me to Dallas. I'll bring it to you. There you go. Yeah, I, I just got to be someone out here that lives by Dallas. It's like, hey, I'm, I'm free this weekend. I'll go out to South Carolina. Get back Monday. But uh, that's what I was asking. Anybody in here that wants to... Uh, run a truck but right now we're hanging out at uh good old coca-cola what's up mike or miles we have a one o'clock appointment it's uh what is it two something now and we walked in a little door between that international and that leather, that other trailer and he said hey man i got four trucks ahead of you i'm like all right well <laughs> i got here about 45 minutes early but i'll just hang out and wait and i think this guy's still waiting i think he got here i haven't seen him when i got here so it's that guy at the cardinal was here before me and then there's two trucks over there get a 6.2 for it. yeah might just pull a, the motor out of the trans and put an lsa 6.2 in it but i don't need that much power i just want like a good usable 400 horsepower maybe another ls1 if i can find it or a, a 6.0 ly6 or something just uh put it in there plymouth uk i'll be there in four days there you go man <laughs> martinsburg uh, west virginia what's going on What's up, Michael Klein? How you doing, buddy? You're in Texas, Michael Klein, aren't you? Um, that's where we bought the we bought the truck just north of Dallas, northeast of Dallas, a little bit. Uh, the next truck that I'll have. Roger that. There you go, Chad. Bugatti, what's up, man? What's good? We bought a uh, Cat Eye, man, an 04 Silverado single cab. It was uh, I guess God it was God's plan? It's a it red one. It's red just like the race truck was that my kids call it. Um, it needs to be swapped. It has a V6, but it has a five-speed. Uh, Lewis, we got to source all the parts, so that we'll start buying stuff for it. Uh, if once we get home, we'll look at what we're going to get for it, or what we need. Motor mounts. I think the motor mounts might fit an LS because it's an 04, so it got to be pretty much the same. Cody Myers, there you go. 20, 2005, see if it's Silverado. That's all right. This is an 04, man. Tennessee, keep it up. There you go, Richie. My favorite color, yeah, obviously. <laughs> Love it, love red. My my uh, son's favorite color too, man. We yeah, are hanging out with body armor. It smells like a Kool Aid packet in here. Like you know when you had to open up the Kool Aid and pour the, the cup of sugar in the water and stir it up. That's what it smells like in here when I open these doors. <laughs> but these poor guys, they must be overworked or whatever, or not be used to dealing with a bunch of live loads. And uh, he said, "Hey, we'll get you a little bit, man." I said, "All right." Oh, I uh, don't think we're gonna get another load out of here, but we're only two two hours forty minutes from the house. What's up, Matt? How you doing, man? Uh, bring Jeff. Have you owned the same trailer the whole time? Yeah, this is the only one I ever bought. It had two patches in the roof when I got it. They were well done, riveted, but um, I had to reseal one of them from the top side. It would leak a little bit. And uh, yeah, same trailer, 2014 Great Dane. I paid nineteen thousand five hundred for it. Drive out services may deliver it for you. Remember that movie? Oh, there you go. What's up, Gary P? Doing good, Maurice. How you doing, man? Tony, we need someone to drive my. Uh, if you have a, if you're hauling cars and you got an extra spot, 
I don't know. I don't know about the bags though. It, it'll be. I don't think it can go on a transport because of the bag. It's a, it's over time it would lose pressure and probably drop back down and I don't know if that would rip up some stuff underneath on the uh, roll pan of the front. But I need to 04 Silverado single cab back to South Carolina. I might be able to go out there on like a run, but I don't think T Dubs can drive 980 miles in a manual and, and be happy about it. She probably could do it if her life depended on it, but being happy about it, I'm not sure. Norway, California, what's up, Ruben? Norway, what's up? How you doing? There you go, Toe Pig. Yeah, I actually have his number, I believe. I talked to him once or twice before. How's it going? We're doing good, DeAndre. From Cummins in Glen Burr, Maryland. What's up, Colin? Turkey, what's going on? Sathian? Sathan? Man, we're just hanging out here at Coca-Cola. Can you fit it in a box trailer? You probably could, but I'm ill-advised. Ill-advised for uh, loading and unloading did you know how to fix your own stuff or did it take a while to learn? Uh, I just always had it in me. I like more working on stuff. So I've always kind of worked on it. Macon, what's up going on, Jill? Macon, Georgia. That's where my truck got re-powder uh, coated. Come home empty, put the truck in your trailer. I don't know if you're allowed to do that. No, maybe, I don't know. What up, fit the back in the dry van? Yeah, but how, where am I going to get a loading dock to get it in there, you know? Heck, man, I'll drive it there for you. Just fly me back. There you go. Yeah, Tony, if you can, that's what I'm looking for. Somebody who lives in the Dallas area that can go pick it up. It's already paid for. Grab the title and it's got brand new tires. He, and I said, hey, man, I'm going to talk to my, uh, what's up, Josh? Talk to my subscribers and see if anybody has the weekend free and they want to run it. Uh, is it roadworthy? Would you drive it? He's like, yeah, I'd drive it anywhere, man. This thing is top notch. I was like, okay, man, as long as you believe that. Need some ramps? That'd be some high ramps, man. Use a forklift, yeah. <laughs> Uh, rent a trailer, have T-Dubs, tow it with the Cummins. There you go. My my buddy, uh, Cool Cars KJ, he does a lot of stuff. He actually has his own fifth wheel. I said, hey, man, let's go get this truck. And he said, hey, man, you bring your truck over here, and we'll take, we'll go out there with your Ram and pick it up. I said, yep. Yeah. I don't know about that. It'd be a lot, of, a lot of craziness. But we're both busy, so we can't go get it. I'd be happy to help out once I get back to Dallas. I have an entire house to pack up so we can move up here to Cedar Rapids the week after Christmas. There you go, Michael Klein. That truck is... <laughs> the truck is oh John does not like the truck. It's a beautiful truck. I'll do it no problem, but I'm here in Georgia. They <laughs> gotta go get it. Tend to uh, tend to be a do I do it yourself guy. Yeah, me too, man. Donald Tooley, what's going on, man? But yeah, just uh. I talk too fast. Yeah, you got. Well, I have to read all the comments. I like to keep interaction with you guys. Good afternoon from Waterbur Waterloo, Iowa. What's going on, Cali boys? Cali boys, are you from Cali? You thought that red truck that's in? Yeah, David, I did. Look on Just Trucking Family. It started life out as a V6 five speed, just like the truck that I just gave away is. So, I've always liked that double stacked headlight look. It's a little bit too slammed for my liking, but um. Call, call up Gas Monkey Garage. There you go. Call Richard Rawlings. I actually met him at, at uh, Bear Jackson one time. It's pretty cool. But um, it's I didn't want something that slammed. I wanted like maybe lowered or sports suspension. But he put a lot of money into it. Those wheels alone are like three thousand dollars. So I said, uh, it's all the work he did in the interior. Nice truck. Really clean truck. Connecticut. What's up, Brian? Hang out. Hang on to your hat. Today is it's windy. Oh, there you go. David, I'm definitely going to miss the Mustang. I, every time I walk by, I touch it and say, that's that was my first baby, but I'm going to hold out on a CTSV uh, or a sports sedan until these prices come down. Th these, this market of used trucks, older trucks, is is, kind of, is a little bit easier to, to, to bear the under $10,000 purchases, but the $60,000, $70,000 CTSV, I'm like, eh, I don't know if I want that payment. You know, I don't want to put half of it down and then have a payment again, so... We just paid cash for a truck, and that'll be my fun toy now. I'll put, put a loud exhaust on it again. Because I was hoping to keep the race truck. I was hoping somebody didn't want it or they just wanted cash or they couldn't have it in their state. But it's going to Georgia to a great guy who, uh, uh, Nomadic Bear, what's going on, man? And uh, see if we could go ahead and keep it. But he, he's like, I want that truck. I said, cool, man. So I started looking for another truck just to have something that has a bed that I can throw some trash in, throw lumber in, whatever we're doing, throw power wheels in. And even though it has those big... Uh, tubs in it it still has usable usable space in there so 
Orlando Park, Illinois. What's going on? And I could always change out the bed and, and give it a rear regular suspension again or put airbags that aren't so drastic, but it is a C-notch frame, so it can, it can lay on the frame if it wants to. Is it so hot there? No, it's not. It's uh, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. It's like 68, 70 degrees. I'm into motorcycles. I used to have a Panger Harley. I used to have a lot of crotch rockets back when I was younger. I had uh, Jixxer 1000s. I had an R1. Uh, one of my favorite bike, bikes was a Jixxer 750. It was that blue and white color. I loved that bike. It was just, it wasn't as big as a 1000 liter bike. And it was like nimble like a 600, but it had a lot of power. So beautiful day in SoCal. There you go. Brian Kemp, what's going on, Governor? Absolutely help, Justin. I would love to help out. I'm in Fort Worth and having a closed trailer and a shop. There you go, John. That'd be awesome, man. Uh, I would. Uh, I'm in Fort Worth. Well, if you want to, John, uh, just trucking, or not just trucking, just RMT Freight at Gmail, man. If you want to email me um, and you have time to do it, man, that'd be awesome. Well, I may see it in Georgia then. That's cool. Yeah, the, Jill, the. Uh, Race trucks going to Dublin, Dublin, Georgia, right there between like uh, Augusta and Atlanta. Freeway's going up because of the tornadoes. No, I don't think that really affects it. That one tornado in Kentucky is not going to affect the whole freight market across the board, you know. But if you need some, so if you drink a body armor from a convenience store in Charleston in the next probably six months, I probably delivered it. So <laughs> think about that. These are your body armors. Uh. There you go. Give out that email again. It's uh, RMT Freight at Gmail. Just the name of my uh, uh, trucking company. Nova Scotia, what's going on, Stephen? How's it up there? I'm sure it's not as warm as down here. But uh, whenever I think of Nova Scotia, I think of the Red October, the movie. <laughs> if you pay for the trip, I'll come over and get and get you. Pay for the trip, I'll come over and go get the car for you. Yeah, I'll pay for all the fuel and everything else. I'll pay for you to, to come on out. Um, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm not expecting to be free. I'll pay for all the fuel. I'll pay for your flight back. I just uh, don't have time to run to Dallas. I would take a load out there, but T Dubs, uh, I don't think she's going to want to. The airport must be right by here. We saw a big old shadow. Oh, we're right by the Air Force Base, I think. Oh, yeah. A big boy. Air, airport's right there. <laughs> What's up, Steven? It's negative four. Woo! John, how's it going, man? North Carolina is so cold. Nothing like Jamaica. That's right. Nothing like Jamaica. Nothing like hanging out at Coca-Cola when you had a one o'clock appointment. You still got two more trucks in front of you. Yikes. Oh, I tried to split the camera around. Come on, finger. There you go. The Werner guy showed up after me, but those other two on the end, those guys are before me. It's one of those instances where you want to grab a trailer pulled out of the hole and then grab a forklift and unload yourself. But you can't do that. Insurance and stuff. Stuff like that. Do you believe any time is a good time to get into your own company? I just believe if you have equipment, if you have an in, an in to get like a a trailer and a truck then go for it but right now is not the time uh negative 25 wow sean uh the market's too expensive same thing with like the car market like when i was looking at cadillacs they're overpriced like they're the same price they were uh three years ago for like a newer one so i don't get it we're not gonna go that route good good to see you too uh peter how you doing man saudi arabia uh, James, it's 75166 is the zip code. It's a, it's like right by a lake. I think it's called Dave, Davin or something. D-A-V. It's five letters. John, there you go, man. Are you serious, John? Are you going to be able to put it in a trailer? Because that'd be awesome, man. That would be awesome. Uh-oh. Red Classic's pulling out. Yeah, Siv, I'm trying to get somebody to... Uh... And see, Red Classic's actually Coca-Cola's company, so he probably got priority. <laughs> Yeah, I picked up a single cab truck for anybody asking a 2004 Silverado airbag Then I needed to be uh, brought to South Carolina, either driven or trailered, either way. So that's what I was asking. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Bring Jeff. Thanks a lot, man. 
Uh, Alice, 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 what's going on, man? Ali, tell your viewers to keep an eye out for Sepis. My wife died from it. Wow, I'm sorry, man. T's and P's. Prayers for that, man. Look for symptoms of Sepis website. Sorry, Chris. Uh, close to the hometown of Alequipa. You guys are making a bunch of words that I can't. You guys like to watch me make try and pronounce words, don't you? <laughs> I'm subscribed right next a lot. It's uh, Sathian. Sathan. All right, so he's, I don't know if he's already been in there. I've seen him put cars and dry vans all the time. I just don't know how to unload it once it gets here. <laughs> Go ask one of these local companies. Hey, man, can I drive my truck off on your dock real quick? <laughs> Uh, Quip Town. There you go. Quip Town. Got a 94 Dodge. Five speed. Yeah, see, that's what I love. I just love the manual trucks. And like Dodge made that SRT10 Viper truck. And that was so cool. Uh, but those are pretty pricey and very rare. All right, so he's out of here. This guy's going in. When do we get to go? Because I know he was here before us. But let's see. Uh, next guy. Freightliner fan, thanks a lot, man. What's up? Glad to see you. What's up, Paul? Yeah, manual's fun. You get to actually analog run the truck, you know, drive yourself. It's pronounced Ali Quipe. There you go. Thanks, Gary. If you need someone to buy me a ticket there, I'll pick it up. Yeah, I'm looking for someone that's like already in the Dallas area, you know? Wish your O2. Yeah, the Harley Davidson trucks are awesome, you know? I wish they made the lightnings in a, a manual. That would have been cool. That 5.4 supercharged motor. I'll take this over 40 degrees anyway. What's up, boss man trucker, Amy? That was cool when you saw Green Pete from, yeah, that car, that truck is awesome. It was parked right there in the handicapped spot at that pilot or Flying J. Get a flatbed tow truck and drive it over. Grandfather. I was just thinking maybe a subscriber. Um, that wanted to come hang out with me and T-Dubs on like Sunday would drive it out Saturday and get there Sunday and uh, fly them back Monday. But are you are you nervous for tomorrow? No. What's tomorrow? Red Flare, I'm not. My dad, 93. There you go. Had 4x4. Four four. Let's find just someone in Dallas. <laughs> yeah. It's not, not a big, it's not a big rush. I just thought, what I really was thinking was that'd be so cool if the race truck when it went to Dublin like the new truck was there too that'd be kind of cool because he's getting there at 2 p.m. on Sunday it's kind of cutting it close for um, if somebody drove out like Saturday morning but uh, I think that'd be cool yeah T-Dubs T-Dubs is pretty awesome I, I'm somewhat cool I guess my kids think I am at least that's all that matters I have a dolly also don't mind driving down take, take down Tony there you go man RMT Freight at Gmail if you guys are serious and you have the weekend free It'll be a blast to see you. I can leave Friday night. John, if you're serious, man, I think you're the guy with the, with the trailer. That'd be kind of cool, man. If you want to make the 900-mile trip out to South Carolina. But if you're driving your own truck, I'd just pay for your fuel here and back, too. And any tires that blew or anything like that on the trailer. Because I know tires on trailers can blow sometimes. Not putting that out there, though. Cat, uh, how you doing? Hi. Red out. Yeah, red out, yeah. Read everything. I didn't. I didn't plan. I, I tried to find my my, uh, my tank. Like my youngest son likes to take my hats and wear them and leave them everywhere. So I couldn't find my camo hat today because I wasn't going for the all red uh, look today. But we ended up with it. T Dubs is doing good. Uh, I had. Um, I live in Alaska. I can leave now. There you go, to Tom. <laughs> um, he's backing in over there. There you go. Uh, I had an email this morning from UPS saying that. Yeah, Levon. There you go. L A V O N. That's where it's at. Lake Levon. Um, no, no, no problem, G. Oh, Jill. Uh, boss man, I look up a company, name a truck, and do live very far. Live very here. You got the no, Henry G. We got a just by the grace of God, I guess that kid not he didn't really have um, he wasn't ready to sell it, I don't think. Because in his description, he said he wanted to trade for a four by four. So I said, like, Do you have another truck set up? I'll come and get that truck. It was 6,500 bucks. And um, then I found this one for twenty five hundred dollars more, and I was like, "Well, it was actually he was listed it for twelve, but I did my negotiating and said, hey, man, that's what I got.'" And uh, for twenty five hundred bucks more, we got a truck with three thousand dollar wheels on it, <laughs> and airbags, and an amazing interior. That uh, it is a V six and a five speed brand new clutch. So that's the kind of uh, we're doing good, uh, cat. Missing Miss Hubby. I uh, was in Colorado. There you go. That's the best part of, the, of our job out here. 
Do you want him to drive it or do you want them to haul it in the trailer? It doesn't matter, James, either way, because that's what I asked him. I was like, hey, if I, if I do go come out there, if I have one of the subscribers come out there, if somebody lives there and actually wants to drive it, is this thing roadworthy from Dallas to South Carolina? About a thousand miles. He's like, oh yeah. He's like, it's a daily driver, brand new tires. I said, okay, uh, but they have to be somewhat savvy with airbag system. You can't just drop the bags on the highway and be skirt, scraping the frame and leaving sparks everywhere, you know? You want to keep it up. Uh, and he said he'll walk anybody through that comes in and picks it up. What's up, Dora? Dory, how you doing? Dory Hicks. Remember, keep the shiny side up. There you go, John. Thanks a lot, man. See you later, buddy. But would you let Nona Robber run your Thor the good? I, uh, Cheron, um, I can't, man. That's why I, I was thinking about that. Well, if I ever do that, I'll set up a whole other set of numbers, pay the insurance for the year, and like bring on five guys and see how it works, that kind of thing. And that'll be kind of later in life when my kids are out and not caring about me as much. So it won't be for hopefully a long time, but I know that day is coming when my kids are going to want to be more into their friends in school than they are me. Yeah, and it's red, Energy. It's red. It's really clean. Uh, custom leather interior, custom uh, steering wheel, red. He painted the... Um, the cluster red is really nice truck. Uh, Lux Life. Hey, Justin, do you think about Guy Senses 110 for that accident? Uh, about Guy Senses. I don't know, 110. I don't know what 110 was. Uh, I wouldn't trust him, but yeah, I do. I mean, if somebody wants to meet me, that's a fun of life. I mean, that's the road trips are the best. If I was, I was also thinking, like, if somebody was heading out to Dallas, I would just hitch hitchhike with them out there, but that's a two day trip and have to sleep somewhere. I was like, eh. Um, so I didn't know about that. Thanks a lot, Michael Gray. It's a pretty good looking truck. Get Alcott. What's Alcott? 110 years. Uh, was there an accident or something? I don't, I didn't keep track of that. I don't know what's going on. Candy Apple Red is very nice. Yeah, it's a nice looking truck. It's more the, the Chevy Red. So Coca Cola, what is he doing? Oh, he's just turning around. He was, uh, oh, that's the guy coming down Colorado. I remember that. And he didn't use any of the ramps, I think. They don't, they, I didn't know, uh, I, I, th I thought that was already over. I didn't know he was still going to trial or whatever. But um, 110 years seems a little excessive. I don't think he was, per no one's purposely trying to hit or hurt anybody out here, you know? So that's that's a little excessive, I think. I-70 to CC, yeah, 110. Okay, wow. Yeah, I, I saw the, the aftermath where, like, the truck was on fire. It was under the underpass. It was... That was a bad accident. T's and P's for all the families involved, everybody involved. What's up, Matthew? Uh, if I could still drive a stick, I would do it. There you go, man. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I'm just looking for anybody that can uh, live in the Dallas area and says, hey, I want to, this weekend, I want to get a lot of ticket with that luck. There you go, Henry G. Um, see if anybody wants to roll, come out to South Carolina, you know? I think the weather's looking pretty dang good this weekend. Finally, I'm able to get a live stream. There you go, Dragon. Love my W9. Thanks a lot, man. Uh, Scandia Zip. There you go. European trucks are awesome. Yeah, too bad I can't load a trailer. I can go out to like, see my grandpa. I was just trying to see if anybody wants to bring it to South Carolina and I could kind of be here when the, uh, the race truck's going away. So it got to be like the passing of the torch from the race truck to the the next LS build single cab five speed truck. <laughs> that kind of thing. I'm doing great, Armando. How you doing, buddy? All right, they're pulling this trailer out. Maybe I get to go there. Let's see if I can see it. Ooh, ooh. What's up, man? Stay safe. Thanks a lot, Chris. Lester, UK. What's up, B Dave? New Mexico. Very windy. Hey. Yeah, you guys have those valleys, man. I know. I used to drive over 40 from Arizona to visit people in Colorado, go snowboard and stuff, and it was so windy through there once you came out that little extra side. Hey, baby, I'm not going to let you live that down. <laughs> yeah, I meant to say bud. My bad. And it's funny because my grandpa calls everybody babe. Like, hey, babe, we call it guys and girls, so maybe I get that from grandpa. Yeah, Henry G., I, I don't trust grandpa. He drives his Kia a little crazy, his little automatic Sorento. I don't know how he would drive the, uh, he's 81 now. Uh, he would drive a Silverado, you know? Armando do Brazil. Wyoming, the winds were 60 miles an hour. Wow. Austin, Texas. What's up, Justin? How you doing, man? I was actually going to name my firstborn son Austin. I always liked that name, but uh, T-Dub said no. So I said, okay. So it's past lunchtime. I see a forklift. 
I don't know. I see a drum set, I see a drummer, I see a microphone, I see a singer. What movie's that from? Get a flight from Jamaica. There you go. There you go, Richard. What about Topic? He's in Dallas. I don't know if Topic is even driving anymore, you know? If he's where he's at. If he's, I don't know. I have his number, I believe. I talked to him on the phone once. I don't know if he called me or I called him. But uh, we'll see what he's doing. If he's home and he wants to collaborate and come to South Carolina, why not, right? Put the hotshot loft with the, the dry van life. Hey, brother, what's going on, 386? Back from vacation with the F1 in Dubai. That's awesome, man. Winds were crazy. Well, comments are going all over the place. That's awesome, Josh. Crazy and okay today. Oklahoma, there you go. Live again. Yeah, Catherine had just talked. We uh, bought a different truck. <laughs> so the guy never got back. Step Brothers, there you go, Keith. Uh, Bay Area in the house. What's up, Roland? I love the Bay Area, man. The old Highway 4, man. Beautiful growing up there. It's changed a lot, though. A lot more people move there nowadays. Exactly, Nomadic. Yeah, I don't know if he's... Uh, after the boating incident, he survived. He can do anything. I didn't know anybody survived a boating incident. No wire harness. No luck, exactly. No luck on wiring. We uh, December 30th, they're supposed to have another shipment of them, and we're 42nd on the list. Stay safe. What's up, Bobby? West Palm? Wait. Well, come on, comments. Cap, Merry Christmas to you, too. There you go. But yeah, well, I don't know if I... He said... He said, what's your truck look like? I'll come. Uh... Yeah, Jill, I was just trying to see anybody in Dallas wants to. I guess John said, I have to check my email when I get off here. That's why I kind of just put it out there. What's up, Stan Kubon? How you doing, man? Um, why don't you just fly out there and drive it back? Oscar, because I don't have the time, man. Like, they got so much other stuff going on. Plus, I have to be home Sunday to uh, meet the guy who's buying the um, race truck. Or not buying, who won the race truck. So that's why. Grandpa told you when you went to see him. Oh, the story. Yeah, I love the story with Grandpa. Lexington, what's going on, David? 107 mile an hour gusts in Colorado. What? Man, that's a whole... I can see so many videos of people... Um, out there on that stretch just getting blown over and stuff it's like it's it's real real dangerous you got two emails from me one with my number one with a pickup my trail awesome john if that's if you're serious man you got the weekend free that would be great man uh, is it precor is that how you say your last name john things aren't in stock uh, yeah well jill that's just the everything is it's a ripple effect it's not like we're not working out here it's uh john he lives in simpsonville yeah I live in Simpsonville, South Carolina, 29681. Greenville, South Carolina, like just past Atlanta before Charlotte. Precore, there you go. Precore, that's a pretty cool name, man. But yeah, if you got a trailer and stuff, that'd be awesome, man. 39 and having about 56 mile winds as well here in Colorado Springs. Woo! Smear Beach, Florida, I love it, man. Gary. Miss Sokawa, Indiana. My parents live near Dallas. My husband's got his own truck Tuesday from Pam Transport. And he's headed to Lake Park, Georgia. There you go, Catherine. That's a nice run. That's not a, not a hard run right through there if the weather's good. But sometimes you get some fog. Dragon, that's crazy, man. I, I don't know what to say about that. This, the justice system can be broken in many ways. It, it, broken and, and needs to be fixed. Greer, what's up, Joe? How's Greer doing, man? I'm just about 200 miles from you because Greer is right over there. Harlan, Kentucky. Brandon, what's going on? One state telling drivers to stay off the roads because of winds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, we'll pull you over, especially if you're empty. It's, it's not you guys. It's the COVID. Yeah, it's the ripple effect of all that COVID stuff. And it just everybody taking, it just shows you, you take off work for that much time. And yeah, I tend to Jacksonville. That's a nice route too, eastbound. Except when you're going through Louisiana, man, those roads are horrible. Uh, Rolling 386, there's a company today, EMT, that I, I filmed them in the, in, when I was heading out today. Uh, it says they lease trailers and stuff. They're right there, right by where I live. So I haven't, uh, but the phone number's on the trailer. So call them. They have like three of them sitting there in the field. It's the Catalina wine mixer. There you go. You got it. 
where you live, look up Heritage Park. Yeah, where I live, Heritage Park. Uh, that's my backyard. It's called Heritage Park. It's like there's a concert venue there. That's where I live, right off 385. Can't miss it. That on the Green Pete, three blocks from my house. That's awesome, Amy. That's a it's a nice Green Pete, huh? I think it's nice. Okay, so I think we got shift change going on here because we got him leaving, and we got two other guys right behind him. Brazil, that's awesome, Armando. I'm all jacked up, Mountain Dew. Got a little shift change, or maybe people are coming to work, going away to work. I don't know. But it sounds like we got another big boy. Whee! Are some big planes. Uh, Jake, have you sent an email to... Uh, okay, so he's going to him, so that's the other guy that was before me. So maybe shift change happened, and uh, they're gonna get it, get me in there. It's a C-17, it's a big boy plane. That's the second one that went by. Nice plane. Uh, what engine's running in a Kenworth? It's a 550 horsepower Cummins uh, ISX. But yeah, that's the second one I heard, and that's the first time I saw it on that side. Pray that that forklift guy comes over here. Come on, man, please. Got Averett. Yeah, Jake, if I've sent it to RMT, I should have got it, man. What do I have in a trailer? If you live in uh, Charleston, you drink a body armor from a convenience store, I probably delivered it. Well, you flew in one that went to Iraq. That's awesome. So he's pulling out. He just fired up. Is the, is the forklift guy going to come over here? Please come over here. I'm going to send it again if you immensely know. Okay, Jake, I will, man. Maybe the C-17 can bring the truck. There you go. Just go to the airstrip, look, put that thing on like Fast and the Furious and then just shoot it out with a parachute. I'll catch it in the park next to my uh, house. <clears throat> honk, honk. Donald, what's going on? So he did not come over to me. Nope, he went back in. I didn't see him shoot past. Adam, what's going on, man? Adam, I did buy it. I already paid for it. So it's a 2004 Cat Eye Silverado. Uh, 1500 five-speed V6 truck that has been pretty uh, souped up. It's got airbags all the way around. It's got a notched frame. I didn't want all that, but for the price, I couldn't pass it up, you know? So I said, let's do it. We got it for under 10 grand. E&J Transport's getting in there with a the day cab, and we're after him. One of the weird things, not weird things, but kind of cool, but not kind of cool, I have to change it, is um, the air-driven, um, air compressors are, are uh, belt-driven, like the tr trucks we drive are gear-driven air compressors right off the side of the motor, and that compresses the air for your tanks. Uh, this one's a belt-driven one, so that's kind of cool, kind of cool, but not. When I switch it to an LS, I'm gonna get rid of that. The bracket probably won't fit anyways. And then I'm going to do two Vier um, electric tanks. We have body armor. That's kind of load we got here. I wave my arms frantically and see if they come to me. Thanks a lot, Carmelo. It's a cool truck, man. I just need to have that bed. Like, it's not a... It's a more useful bed than the Ram has because the Ram's bed is way in the air and it's full of speakers. But this one has big tubs on each side for the tires to lay frame. So maybe we'll switch out the suspension back to, like, a sports suspension with, like, a medium drop and uh then we can do it st louis cardinals fan what's going on Those, oh, that football game disney area what's up william c5 galaxy fly over my draw there you go jason pet how big a forklift would you want to put on a truck what do you mean adam yeah body armor's my load just being silly don't mind me <laughs> ss battery you find easier than you think okay someone just uh uh, messaged me. I think it's the guy that bought the Cobra. How big of a lift kit? Oh, my truck has a custom 16-inch lift on it. Uh, so the bed's a little high in the air. But this bed, I can still, like the middle of it still, it has a little 3-inch uh, rise from the C-notch. But I can still put stuff in there. Like if I get a big TV I buy from Walmart or if I have to move some power wheels or t dubs buy some furniture, I can still use it. What's up, East Tennessee? How you doing? 
I got a 5.3 I could sell you, put it in the bed when I come out there. Uh, John, you do, uh, okay. Uh, what, is it an aluminum block? Is it the Gen 3? Because I really was gonna go like an LY6 6.0, John. I'll have to talk to you about that off uh, off the live, man. Because right now it's got the 4.3 uh, V6 in there. And I want to rebuild, take the heads off and rebuild double spring uh, LS7 lifters again. Redo the whole motor before I put it in and then made it up to the transmission. But that's kind of cool, John. How do you want to put on a pickup? How big of a lift kit do you want to put on a pickup? I, if I was building my own, I wanted a useful. Uh, eight inches is like the highest I would go for like everybody being able to get in and out of it. Six inches looks pretty good, but eight inches I think is like the best lift. 12 inches you're getting kind of a custom truck and then my truck 16 inches you're getting a little bit out there. 60 mile an hour in tornado rolling through Iowa. Ooh, stay safe guys. Columbus, Georgia checking in. What's up, Regal? Well, he's, yeah, he's finally backing in. All right, and then this guy. I kind of chose to just pull my truck in straight because I'm already going, I can back my trailer straight in whatever door they give me now. Him in South Carolina. What's up, Kyle? What's up, Barry from Wisconsin? I live about three miles from your favorite QT. There you go, Joe. I love that QT. No, I bought a Silverado, man, because I my giveaway truck's going away. I need that little pickup truck for anything awkward shape that we have to move that won't fit in the back of the Escalade that T-Dubs has. So I bought a uh, pretty custom Silverado. So I was going to pay 6500 bucks for this other Silverado that had a, a ripped up seat. Uh, you could tell it was like an everyday driver for this kid, but he did do a 5.3 aluminum block in it. Uh, it's bagged, yeah. It's, it's C-notched, it lace frame. It's got big old 24s on it. <laughs> $3,000 wheels without tires. So uh, I got a good deal on it. Just the wheels alone would, if they didn't have the wheels on there, then it would be the price of the other truck I was going to buy. So what's up, Jeff? How you doing? So I think it's a good deal. When I saw what he wanted for it, I said, but I could probably get him a little bit down on that. Um, and we did. Cars and coffee next time. There you go, Kyle. Where is Cars and Coffee at? This I think it's once a month, right? But I'll probably bring out the Ram and the and the, the Silverado. What you need, uh, Matthew? I need. It's Lake Levon, I think it's called. I ha but I think John's going to take care of it. One of the, our other subscribers has an enclosed trailer. He might bring it out for us. We're going to talk to him off the live. But if he can't do it or something comes up, we need the Silverado I just bought. It's a bagged, either driven out to me, or trailered out to me uh, and i'll fly you back home but if john does it i'll just pay for his fuel here and back and give him a little extra and take him to dinner you know be kind of cool and he also says he might have a 5.3 for us gonna lift it no if anything we might just put like a sports suspension on it and get rid of the airbags uh, but for right now for what we paid for we're just going to use it as a truck and uh, it looks nice and pretty sitting in the driveway another silverado with plans for an ls swap because it's a v6 so we'll take the v6 and uh run it for for now and then start building an ls to, to swap in that one and uh have it have the side ex and the side ex exhaust this time i'll probably put it i'll probably cut out the uh the bed a little bit on the bottom and put it through there because i don't want it getting smashed if the airbags get depleted best of both worlds one lifted one drop there you go josh that's what i was thinking too robert pitts is going out later man 10 miles from lake Levon. there you go yeah that's where it's at 75166 is the zip code and uh, we're just seeing if anybody lived in that Dallas area that could bring it out and then uh, fly them home or whatever this weekend. Borla exhaust. I would go Corsa, Jeff. C-O-R-S-A. They seem to have the raspiest, nicest sounding exhaust or Flowmaster. Make a custom grill for a cat eye. No, I never did, Josh, because the way that the grill kind of went into the headlights, it had to be like, uh, it was weird how it worked. So I didn't ever make one for those trucks. But a lot of people ask me, what's up, Greg? How you doing? What's the fuel economy on your truck? On this big truck, it's like about 7.8 right now, pulling heavy loads. Uh, the Silverado I'm getting, I have no idea what the gear ratio is in the back, but I would say it's 15 to 20, somewhere in there for a V6 five speed. It's foggy up north. Yeah, it's beautiful out here, you guys. We can't, can't complain, not a cloud in the sky, just some wispies and some planes flying, a couple planes. But yeah, just want to come on here, guys. Hope you guys catch it on the replay, too. I'm going to actually, uh, yeah, Lake Levon, Wiley Lucas area. There you go. Starting to get the parts for the new pickup. Yeah, 3BB will run the whole build again for the, uh, I'll do little clips on the Just Trucking channel, but 3BB will be the whole build of the motor and stuff for the Silverado. And then I'll also be getting those headers done pretty soon for the uh, Trailblazer SS. I'm going to do headers, and then I'm going to go back to the muffler 
I might change the muffler out, but I'm gonna do a cutout with the, with the hydraulic uh, button or electronic uh, actuator so I can dump the exhaust right off the, uh, before it goes back. So it can be loud or you can push that and be quiet again. So it'd be kind of cool. I'm on a load to Dallas area, then headed to Florida. I can trail your truck if needed. Uh, John Rogers, yeah, if you're, uh, you got a car hauler, man, well, let me know because um, we have another guy named John and he might take his enclosed trailer. He runs like a shop. So uh, email me at rmtfreight at gmail. If you, if you got time, that'd be awesome. rmtfreight at gmail. And uh, we'll see if anybody can get it done this weekend. If not, we'll look for next week or anytime, you know. But I'm going to go check on this, guys. Wish me luck out here. I had a 1 o'clock appointment. I was 45 minutes early. Ah! And uh, everybody's gone except Warner. We're getting our power raid off of here. But, yeah, God bless you guys. It's pretty cool seeing some of those planes. I don't know if I'm going to buffer walking back here, but I'll check. Hey, T-Dub. T-Dub just joined in. Maybe we'll stay for five minutes. What uh, T-Dubs was that? Um, was that the bumper or what was that in, in that box? Ninety-three Chevy on thirty-seven. That's nice. Four ten gears. There you go. Is it still? Uh, is it buffering, guys? Because it was buffering when I was sitting in my truck. Got a little pond back here. I don't sprain my ankle on all these leaves. There you go. Oh. Post picks and FB, there you go. But uh, I thought this was coming today, but the box, no thanks, what's going on, man? Thanks for that flag stabilizer, bud. Well, okay, I wanna see what T-Dub said. I don't know yet, didn't open it, made myself some eggs. <laughs> go T-Dubs. <laughs> can you open it for us and post a video on your channel, please, babe, so we can see what's going on? I think I have watched the replay now. <laughs> Oh, T-Dubs already knows what we bought, and she didn't believe me when I told her the price. So I told T-Dubs the uh, price of the truck, and then she said, uh, now tell me the real price. And I said, that's the real price, babe, I promise. But I showed her the picture, and she's like, well, that's a pretty good deal for all that, what that truck is. And I said, yeah, we got a good deal on it. Thanks, T-Dubs. Eggs are the best. And T-Dubs loves her eggs, eggs and bacon. And then she makes, like, bagels and stuff. She made a bagel sandwich yesterday. I'll look here in a bit. All right, baby. Well, I love you, babe. Love all you guys. Thanks for subscribing. And wish me luck getting body armor to the great people of Charleston. And uh, I'll check my email, guys, rmtfreight at gmail. Any of you guys, John, hopefully it works out, man. That'd be awesome. And maybe I'll even buy a 5.3 off you. All right, guys. God bless you. Love you, T-Dubs. Love my babies.